Welcome back, Quail Pack. I know it's been a while, but um, I'm here today to do another Clip Team Firefire tutorial, as always. Um, I'll be going over importing animations. As you can see, I have this little animation that I made. It's 250 frames, which is long, but it's, it has two idols and a walk cycle. I don't know why it's going so slow, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, um... I basically already have everything set up, so this will be more of a how-to rather than actually walking you through it, so it should be a relatively short video. Um, the first thing we're going to do is actually export this from Blender, and we're going to, going to be using a DirectX file, or .x file. Um, as you can see, I already have it, the animation exported already, because I made sure that everything worked properly. Um, more importantly, we're going to pay attention to these selections over here. Um, if you have a blend file with multiple animations, then you want to select the export selected objects only. That way you don't have, let's say, five different animations or five different meshes in this one file that you want. Um, we want to export the mesh, obviously. Um, export normals, export the UV coordinates, export materials, um, the vertex color, skin weights. Uh, we want to apply modifiers, which is important if... Um, like, for example, if you're making a human, you'll use a mirror modifier. So the uh, symmetry is one-to-one. -one. You will need to apply that modifier to export. Otherwise, um, the .x file will only be half a human in that in that instant. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and export the bones because Firefly does have joint control now. Um, obviously, export the animation. And I'm not sure if you really need this, to be honest, but... It works, so I'm not going to fix what's not broken. So I'm going to cancel that. Once you animate that and export it, we can jump over to Firefly. I have some um, material load code, just so you can see, and a lot of things already set up. Again, this is just a how-to, kind of a walkthrough. It's not really one of my other examples where I'll walk through all the setup and whatnot. Um, I have an animated mesh material node for the different materials, as you can see. Um, there are six, six of them. Um, I have my engine lighting set up to, you can see the ambient light. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Um, and we're just going to load the mesh. So, let's get that real quick. And I'm just going to do it this way just because it's quick and simple. And if I press play, you'll see that the mesh is there. Everything is... Um, assigned properly. It looks kind of off. That's a shader problem. I don't know how to code shaders, so that's pretty much it. Um, you can control the animations. So, for example, let's say upon pressing 1, I want to run the walk cycle, which I have to go back and check. It is frame 0 through 26. I know that says 27, but it starts at frame 1. So, I want to loop. Let's go to animations. Play animation by frame range. Starting frame is 0 to 26. And I want to make sure that it's looping. So I'll set looping on. Now when I press 1, it should just loop the walk cycle. Which it does. Um, as far as idle, let's go ahead and restrict. Let's add a restrict. Actually, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just restrict it. It doesn't really matter. Restrict actions to every five seconds. We are going to run frame 27. Animation... 27 through 249, which are the two idle cycles. Let's actually insert something so it doesn't start the idle over and over. Let's compare two values, two general values. So, if the current frame is lower than 27, that's where this animation starts. 
There we go. Now that should work. Just so you guys can see looping animations. And you can change the frame rate. Uh, let's see. I'm actually going to add that real quick. So let's add a Firefly text node. Oh, no, not that one. Let's add a 2D text. There we go. I'm going to make this white so it's easier to see. Put it over here. And I am going to always set that. Set text to string. And we want to get FPS. And I believe that you can set the speed frames per second 60. Actually, I'm going to change this. Just to make things easier on me. Okay. There you go. Speed up. And I can actually dictate that elsewhere. So let's say... Upon pressing number key 1... I want the animation speed to be 24. And I'm just going to copy and paste this two times. Make it 2 and 3. Change it to 30. And change this one to 60. And we're going to set that to idle. So that's 24. 30. You're not going to really notice that much of a difference between 24 and 30. And then 60. So you can also manipulate the frames if you need to. Um, there's other options. Honestly, I haven't explored them. You can pause, which is actually in my example file, so I kind of have it. Um, pause the animation, resume it in an animation. You can set uh, joints, which is why we exported the ampage, or the bones. I've never touched these though, so as far as my knowledge on them, that will have to be a later video. Um, you can set the frame, you can play frames, or play animations by name, but I know nothing about that, quite honestly. I've always used frame range because I do have my animation set up like such. And I actually need to change that to 30. Let's change this real quick. Edit. Change that to 30. 240. That's why it was jumpy. There we go. Now that loops seamlessly. Um, this, this model doesn't have that many animations. It has three animations. But I will have that blend file hopefully linked in the description for you to use in your games, if you so choose. Just to be a simple, I don't know, anything you want really, as long as it only involves walking. Pretty much. <laughs> um, that's it for this video though. Um, again, my example file is on sale. I've added some things to it. Um, it's currently nine nine oh it's two ninety nine, but there is also a four ninety nine and a nine ninety nine version. The four ninety nine version gives you assets that I am making myself. Um, makes me a better modeler, gives me experience, and you get royalty free assets to use, which you don't have to link me on, and you can use them for any of your games, commercial or personal, doesn't matter. They're yours at that point. Um, for the 999, I am going to be making open source games. Um, I haven't been doing that. I haven't been working with Firefly a lot because I am having a daughter. So I've been busy with that. Really excited. And um, first of the year, my New Year's resolution was to have set goals for myself every month. Um, January, um, my goal was to make the Firefly file, 
which I did. I released the initial version of that. Um, February, I spent time updating it, so I added, like, the map. Um, I added the side-scroller, um, or the Quake 3 maps, uh, the side-scroller, um, and I started the models. I uploaded a zip file for the models. This month, I'm trying to release as many games as I possibly can with different things. Um, I've released two so far. I'm working on the top-down one. Um, if you're interested, I'll try to link those down in the description below. Um, the two games are Jelly Destroyer and Jungle Bash. I personally like Jungle Bash more because I have grown an obsession with the 16-bit graphics due to that game. <laughs> um, I'll link. I'll try to have all that information linked below. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.